Well, the last couple of years has been very exciting for me to work with AARP. As many people know, I've spent the last 40 years of my life dealing with crimes against governments, financial institutions, and corporations. But when I get the opportunity to work with AARP, I get to deal with crimes against everyday consumers of every age, not just the elderly. All types of scams, uh, telephone scams, email scams, uh, IRS scams, sweepstakes scams, grandparent scams, and tech scams. Things that people fall for, unfortunately, every day it cost billions of dollars, and people who lose their life savings sometimes lose their home because they fall for these scams. I've always believed that education is the most powerful tool to fighting any type of crime. So if you can help educate somebody and explain to them how the scam works, give them the resources to study and read up on it, then they're most likely not going to fall for that scam when it comes their way. This is actually amazing. You know, Microsoft did a survey, which they shared with AARP, and they did this survey not only in the United States, but a number of countries, and they found that there were more than $1.5 billion in losses in 2015 from tech scams. Two out of three people were victimized by this crime. What was interesting to me is only 17% of the people victimized were older than 55. The people that were most likely victimized, 50% or more, were people between the ages of 18 and 34, which tells you that at any age you can fall for a scam. And the way this scam works is really quite simple. You either get an email or a phone call from someone supposedly with Microsoft or a tech company, and they claim that there's malware on your computer and they need to go in and fix it. And a lot of times we sit in front of our computer and we think it's not operating right or it's running slow, and they say, well, maybe that's correct. And they tell you that for a fee charged to your credit card, they'll go in and fix the problem. And people give them a credit card number, and that's the whole scam to get your credit card number. But sometimes they actually go in and steal your personal information, your financial records, your photos, and then they want to ransom that information back to you. So what we try to remind people is that Microsoft is not going to send you that email or make that phone call or any other legitimate tech company. That's an unsolicited call. If you feel there's a problem with your computer, that maybe you do have malware on your computer or some virus, you need to call a local reputable tech company, whether it be Best Buy or some local tech company with a good reputation, and have them come out and look at your computer. You never want to give away credit card information or personal information to someone who's contacted you by email or phone in an unsolicited call or unsolicited email. And you can go to aarp.org slash techscams, and Microsoft has joined with ARP and put out a great little booklet, very concise, tells you about the scam, how it works, and how not to be victimized by that scam. You have to be a little smarter, a little wiser. If you get a call on your caller ID and it says it's the IRS, it's the U.S. government, it's your local police department, that doesn't necessarily mean it's them. It's very easy to manipulate caller ID. So today you have to be a little more skeptical. You need to verify something before you actually give somebody money or give somebody uh, information. So you have to be a little smarter, a little wiser. ARP has a great resource called the Fraud Watch Network. I love it because it's the one and only place you can actually really go and learn about all these scams. But not only that, if you for some reason fall victim to one of these scams, you can talk to someone on the phone that will help you at the Fraud Watch Network work through it, tell you what you need to do, how to report it to the police, how to try to get your money back, etc. So it's a great, great resource. I don't know of anybody else doing it. That's what makes me so proud to work with ARP, that they're a great resource to everyone, not just to elderly, anyone.